problems are so big that back in September, Mayor Cooper asked the state for help. And that request was met with criticism from Governor Lee about the city's use of previous CARES Act dollars. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran talked with the governor today. He says that aid won't be coming. Back in September, it was a big ask. $82.6 million to support tourism and businesses. But Governor Bill Lee was not receptive of the request. Instead, he was critical of Nashville's handling of CARES dollars already received. Money, he says, should have been used for businesses. Money that Davidson County already got the lion's share of. The state's distribution um, actually most heavily favors Davidson County. So the coronavirus funds that come to the state are distributed by population, among other things. Davidson County already receives the biggest portion of those funds, of those state funds. He was requesting funds beyond what is currently being spent in the, in the county, and, and that, that won't happen. Since September, Governor Lee says he's spoken with Mayor Cooper and is encouraged by the beginning of Nashville's recovery. I asked the governor today about steps the mayor has taken since the request, such as the phase three reopening. I think he's making decisions about what's best for Davidson County uh, and opening up his, um, making, go, moving to phase three, because he knows that's what's best for the county and that that's gonna generate more activity and more uh, economic activity for the county, for the state. That's a good thing. I'm glad that he's made that decision and I think it was the right one. It looks like additional money from the CARES Act funds are not available, as it's already been distributed to counties across the state. Kyle Haran, News Channel 5. The General Assembly begins in January with a long list of key issues like education, health care, and prison reform expected to come up for debate. If you'd like to have updates from the state capitol sent straight to your phone, be sure to download the News Channel 5 app.